Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Thought I'd change up the scenery a little bit. I was gonna kind of borrow the same bedroom look. All right, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I wanted to do like a I pack for makeup wise when I travel. So these are the essentials I usually have for applying any type of makeup and skincare and such. What I usually wear, and I just thought I'd do a tutorial of some like a look that I would wear when I'm traveling. So let's jump, let's jump right into it. So usually I have two bags for makeup and skincare. So we have the makeup and the skincare. And this is a L'Oreal bag that came with the Balmain collection of lipsticks. They did a collab and I just put stickers on it because I like to so I differentiate the bags. Because I do have two of these. This is my skincare one. This one is from the It's Judy Life collab. You can get this one I believe at Walgreens. I think it might still be on walgreens.com only, but I don't think it's in stores anymore. I really like this one because one is really cute and I love purple, anything of that sort. And this one has two jumbo compartments. So you have a zipper here, a zipper here. So what I usually do is the brushes will be on one side and then all the makeup will be on, on the other side. And I love that the zippers are really, really good. This is all my skincare in here and like hair clips and such, um, mascara wands, um, curlers, all that good stuff, brow scissors. So let's jump right in, shall we? Uh, bare face, nothing on right now. So I usually start off with some sort of moisture for the face. So the two sprays I usually carry the miniature travel size of the MAC Fix Plus with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. The two I usually carry, that's about it. The less the better. So to prep the skin, I'm gonna use my Fix Plus. And this is the rose scent. I love this one. It smells so good. I go in with moisturizer. So once, sorry, my nose is all, it's the allergy season. I'm telling you, I'm going crazy with allergies. So after that, I usually apply my skincare, my day skincare, because I do have different items in here for nice skincare. This is the Mineralized Charged Water Moisture Eye Cream from MAC. I love this guy. Because sometimes when you're traveling, I feel like moisture is lost, even though I'm combo oily skin. I do prefer a little bit more moisture to make sure it locks in everything. And this is usually the compact mirror I have with traveling. This is Ice Bear from uh, We Bear Bears. You guys watch that. So I like to apply eye cream first, and then I apply moisturizer with SPF. Once your eye cream is on, I'm gonna go in with sunscreen with moisturizer. So these are two combo I have right now that I always have in my bag just because they're kind of petite and smaller than the regular moisturizers. And I found that I find that these are very good for my skin type. So I use the Sephora Instant Moisturizer mixed with Estee Lauder Daywear. This is SPF 50 broad spectrum. I do a dollop of the Sephora moisturizer. So this is a nice clear moisturizer. Um, very fine, I wanna say. And then I wanna do about two droplets of the SPF 50. And that should be enough for my entire race. And you wanna make sure you have SPF just because. It doesn't matter where you are, you still want sunscreen anyway. Some kind of moisturizer, SPF protection of some sort. And I like this one because it's, the mixture is really nice. It's nothing heavy. It doesn't feel thick. Sometimes I don't want anything too thick for daytime. Nighttime is different because you do want more moisture to lock in overnight. That's when your skin definitely works its magic trying to regenerate new skin cells. So daytime is okay when the moisture don't feel way too heavy. Unless you have supreme dry skin like eczema or rosacea, something prone like that, you might need a little bit more moisture. Don't forget the neck. And you gotta make sure your moisturizer is really blended in and soaked into the skin before you apply anything else. Because if you were to put primer like right now on there after you put on the moisturizer, it will tend to slip and slide and it won't penetrate deep to the skin. And it's basically like, basically getting wiped off if you were to apply it right now. So I usually have some kind of a lip balm chapstick. So I have this Soap and Glory A Great Kisser. This is really, really good. I like this stuff. Unfortunately, it is in a tin can. I wish it was in a tube. I can just apply it directly, but I just take a little bit of my finger and it keeps my lip hydrated throughout the process of applying makeup. And also throughout the day if you need it. And it smells like peaches. I like that. Let me know if you guys like this new setup. Um, it is the same window. Like my room is right next door, and it's, I use always use natural uh, daylight for tutorials and such. So if you guys like this new scenery, 
let me know. I am just on my living room floor. Now that the skincare is on, I'm gonna go in with eyebrows. So I always make sure I have my Tarte Brow and my Tarte Brow Amazonian Clay Mousse. This is what I use. A little mini mascara to tame the hair. I always bring this too. This is the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer in NC25. Just to shape my brows and in case I need extra concealing, I use that. So the brushes I use are this Sephora Angle. This is a Pro Brow number 20 brush. This is what I use. And then I use this concealing brush to clean up any brow product that I don't want there. Brows are on and... We're gonna move on to our complexion. Moisturizer skincare is all on. We're just gonna apply a little bit of primer. So I tend to do two things with primer. I usually pack either like samples of primers. This is from Sephora. I have a couple samples of face primers in here or stuff like that. Or I just have the deluxe size samples that I bring with me that I redeem purposely for travel from Sephora because you know they have the, those point perks that you can redeem and I tend to do that for little travel ones. All right, so those are really good tips in case you guys do have a lot of points and you don't know what to do with them. Redeem some primers or sunscreen moisturizers for travel. If you do travel a lot, so you don't have to bring the big tube or tub or whatever you have. All right, so today I'm gonna use my professional primer. This is the Benefit one. I'm gonna apply this all over my face. Guess what are you doing? My dog is like on my lap. Like he knows when I put on makeup, he knows I'm about to leave. This is not food, buddy. It's just makeup. What are you gonna do with it? Nothing. So I'll start in the center of the face. I like to fan out. <laughs> Gizmo, what are you doing? Look at him. You see him? He's just watching me like, what are you doing? Why are you on the floor doing your makeup? Have your foundation. What I like to do when I travel for foundation complexion, I don't like to bring liquids just because it might explode, it might spill, something, 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 you never know. I like to always bring solid um, foundation. So this is the Fenty Beauty Stick Foundation. I'm in shade Bamboo. This is the Match Sticks foundation and I like to apply this everywhere. I like to do stripes and then blend after. Because this formula is so like natural, which I like, like very natural finish, not too heavy, I can put on um, concealer afterwards and it'll be okay. It won't be too heavy, especially I'm going to, I'm gonna go to Reno. It's gonna be really warm out since it's summertime already. And then I like to blend with a brush. This is the little travel brush I carry usually. This is the VIB Rouge. Sephora Pro Mini 55.5 because it's a small one. Buff everything out. See how like sheer the coverage is? It's like enough to cover the blood vessels and everything and even the skin tone, but it's not like cake on, which I like. All right, so to conceal the under eye circles, we're gonna go on our handy bag here. Grab my concealer. Since I've been using this guy lately, I wanna, I packed him up too. Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, shade Light Warm. I'm gonna highlight my nosy. Under eye. Beauty Blender, spray a little bit of Fix Plus, dampen it. I usually go to the sink if I'm traveling like at the hotel room or whatever, dampen that. Go ahead and blend. Sealer is on. We're all good. We're gonna go in with a little bit of brightening powder. So I am using this Besame translucent powder. It comes with a little puff, great for travel because you don't have any extra beauty blenders. And I personally don't like to blend my beauty blender with wet stuff with dry stuff. So open that up, pour some in your cap. And this is the regular brightening vanilla powder. So it's like a hint of yellow, kind of like Banana, but not as dramatic as banana color. Take a little bit of this. I like this formula a lot, actually. I haven't used him in a while, but he's really good. It's very finely milded, so it's not like don't leave a white cast or anything on me, which I really enjoy. And it's just enough for the face. And then the rest of the face, I tend to use a loose powder just because it's more of a natural finish and it's just easier for me. I know a lot of people use compact when they're traveling, but I still pack my um, loose powder because I am doing my makeup at the hotel or wherever I'm staying at anyway. This is the Naked Skin Urban K Loose Powder in Naked Medium Light and I love this powder. I can't get enough of this powder. This powder is amazing if you guys love fine powder that sets in place where your face feels smooth afterwards, that's the one I would go for. So brushes, my handy MAC 167 short handle brush. Still love this guy very much, especially when it's small and compact like this. Great for travel, guys. It won't be sticking out, won't be hard for you to maintain in the bag for a little bit. 
and I'll just go in and buff because I don't want it to be hella heavy so just buff it in it will be more of a natural finish did you guys know that that's the bare minerals model where you swirl tap and buff that's their motto for all their loose powders because they're known for their loose powder foundations love 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 this powder cannot get enough we're gonna go in with eyeshadow so eyeshadow I brought my KKW collab with um, Mario that's my favorite to go palette just because it's so compact and it has a little bit of weight to it and it has a full-size mirror super handy for when I'm applying lashes and such so as you guys knew I don't really tend to bring a lot of eye primer with me I tend to just use a little bit of concealer because less is more. I don't like to carry so much stuff anyway. I take the concealer, I just dab literally two dots on each eye, and then I'm gonna buff it in with my finger, blend it in, just so it's a little bit tacky, and plus it, and it evens out the skin tone there too on the lid. And then we're gonna just buff out anything that's too much. Translucent powder. Now I'm gonna go in with, well, sorry, it's actually four eyeshadow brushes. Blender brush, I always go for my 224. I'm gonna do like a very smoky eye. So I'm gonna take the brown color, Miami. All right, once that color's on, go in with your next color. I'm taking this color here, which is Albanian. That's the color right here. And we're gonna deepen. Okay, go back to the first brush. Go ahead and buff that out to a little bit more of a softer, seamless blend. And then I'm gonna apply that lid color with a flat head brush. That second color, I use a MAC 217. This is just a no-name flat head brush. And then I'm gonna take the middle color, which is called Vegas. And I'm gonna take this and apply to my eyelid. I don't want that smoke cranberry look. Okay, I'm gonna go for a brow bone color now with that big fluffy brush. We're gonna take golden color, and that's in shade Armenian. I'm just gonna put it as a brow bone highlight for a little bit of sheen. Feeling on Armenian now with this look. And to add a little bit of pop of color, I feel like putting this, this blue. I really wanna use this blue again. I love the blue. And that's in shade Libra. I'm gonna take that blue with my pinky finger, since I don't have another brush, because I'm not gonna be traveling with that many brushes. Pop it in the center. Definitely feel like color today. Pop of color. Now we're gonna wipe away our bakage and apply shadow underneath. Same eyeshadows underneath. Go ahead and blend everything together so it looks seamless. Now we're gonna apply some mascara with lashes. Okay, so mascara, lashes are all on. So we're gonna apply some blush. Um, I tend to have a lot of these travel size blushes, which is like you know, NARS, Tarte. They're the little ones that you can redeem, or I think some of them are like, comes in one of those VIB renewal things, packages that they give you as a prize or something. So we have Orgasm, Glue, and then we have Tarte Parte. I'm gonna go with something a little bit more chill. So probably gonna be Tarte. Using this Real Technique, super, super old. Natural looking, so nothing too crazy. And when I do travel, I don't tend to contour very much, so I don't really bring contour with me. Just a little bit of blush is all I need and some highlight. Highlight, I also bring my palette, which is the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. This is that trio. I love this palette. My highlighting brush, which is my favorite M501 Morphe brush. I like to mix two, pearl and champagne pop. Sometimes I wear the KKW palette, like the one I wore on my um, brow bone as a highlight too, for that golden sheen. So you basically have three highlights. Once highlights on, I'm gonna apply my lip. And I tend to just pack like three lipsticks or so. I just put them in a jar for now, just so I know exactly what I wanna pack. So I'm gonna try them on right now. And then you wanna do the Selena Amor Prohibito, hard for me to say, with lip liner and lip gloss after. Hmm, very similar to my lip color. I forgot how this lip. I really wanna get right into lipstick because I have so many still on use. Okay, now we're gonna line our lips. I'm using this LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intense Day Auto Liner in shade Enduring Mauve. Very rose nude-like. I'm really just defining my lip to prevent my lipstick from bleeding out. Okay, I'm gonna go with lip gloss. This is the Naked Urban Decay Lip Gloss in shade Walk of Shame. Okay. And then we're gonna, last but not least, is the setting spray. So I'm gonna just blend my makeup together with the Fix Plus first. So I start with this and I end with this. Once that's on, we're gonna also miss some of the Urban Decay setting mist. I'm gonna fix my hair real fast. 
be right back. Alrighty guys, hair's all fixed. Just put it in a half pony like Ariana Grande does. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and please give a thumbs up if you guys find this helpful to see what's in my travel makeup bag as well as me applying it for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.